it's Gracie, and today I am going to be doing the long-awaited everyday makeup tutorial. Yes, finally. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. So as you know, I, out of all my sisters, am probably the most in love with makeup. I love to wear makeup and I love to do makeup. So let's get into it. The first thing that I use always is I moisturize. I've never done this before. I moisturize and I use this Cetaphil moisturizer and it works really well. And then after that, I use some foundation. Now this is an everyday makeup tutorial and so I don't use that much foundation but I use a little just for some extra coverage. I use this foundation, it's from Tarte and it's like Amazonian clay. And I just use like barely any, just to put it all over. You know, just to even out the tone of my skin. I feel like I've heard someone say that before. I don't know if that made sense. But I use this little sponge. This one's from it's like Target or something. I don't really know. And I just dot it all over and I just blend. I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite makeup product is. Because I think mine is probably like mascara. Like if I had to use one makeup product, it would be mascara, definitely. Because it just, it's the best. Next, I use concealer, and I use this concealer, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and it's in the color Sand. I don't use that much makeup, to be honest. I just put a little everywhere. So I just put it like this. I put it here. Put any like blemishes or anything? I don't know, I smiled. Okay. I just put it in random spots. And then, this is the crazy part. We get a little crazy here. I use this lighter one of the same concealer under my eyes to brighten. But I don't use that much because my eyes crease a lot, so that kind of makes me mad. Now we just blend again. Oh, it takes a little while. Make sure you blend all the way down to your neck and all the way around your face. All right. Now that my concealer is done, I'm going to use powder to set it. And I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And it's kind of broken. I broke it at a concert once and I dropped it. So yeah, that was a tragic day. But it just looks like this if you haven't seen it before. And it just sets your makeup. And I just use a little with a big fluffy brush. And I just go like, oh. Oh my gosh. I just blend it all over. And this helps if you have shiny, or you get shiny throughout the day, you just put a little bit of this on. And make sure you put it under your eyes, because then it will crease. I think I already said crease like five times, but I don't know. <laughs> now, you... oh my gosh. <laughs> I just spilled all over myself. All right, just ignore that. We are getting a little messy in this video tutorial. But now that you've spilled all your powder all over the place, you're ready for... I forget what I do next. Hold on. Next we do, I remember, bronzer. I use the Hoola bronzer and it's very... I think it's too warm for my skin tone. But I dip it in like twice and I tap it off because I can't use that much because it's like really tan. But I just go like this in my cheekbones or I don't know I don't know what it's called I always do this part wrong and by the way I may not be a pro at makeup I may do some of my own techniques but just just I don't know <laughs> I don't really know I'm just going with the flow I just do what works best for me so like yeah see that I don't know how to fix that now that side is warmer that's not right. You're not supposed to do that. It's bronzier than the others. <laughs> Look at that. Let's just say I got, I was sitting in the sun at the pool and it got tan on the side and not on the side. I want to say that. Because that's what bronzer is supposed to do. Next is my, one of my favorite parts of the whole makeup tutorial and it's highlight. This is like an Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette. It's a glow kit. And this is the Nicole Guerrero one. Sorry if I said that wrong. Okay. So I get this little highlighting brush from Morphe. I use this one, it's called Glow Getter. I go like this and I tap it off 
and you just put it like on the points where you want highlights. So I usually, all right guys. There is like the light color on here and it's like making it look weird, okay. I feel like, oh, I know what it's from. It's from when Matt did my makeup. He decided to use this white color with this brush and now it's all over my cheek. So, thanks Matt. Thanks a lot. Oh well, we'll just be extra highlighting. Do you see that? Is it showing up? That's highlight. And then I love putting it on my nose, but sometimes my sisters say it's too much. That's okay. And to keep it though. Next, let's do a little bit of eyeshadow. I don't do that much eyeshadow, trust me. But when I do wear a little color on my eyes, I use the bronzer I just use on my cheeks. Look at that, life hack. First, I put a little concealer on my eyelids, just so it stays all day. Whoa, hair. I just put, oh, I just got in my eyelashes. I just put a little on my eyelids, just like that, and I blend it in. And you have to hurry and put a color down after that because it will crease also, because your eyes have natural creases. And I put a little, I just do it with my finger. That's that's way wrong. Yeah, you don't do that with your finger. <laughs> don't fall. Hold on. That's not right. Okay, I just put a little on my eyelids to set it. Okay. After that, then I do this. I get the little eyeshadow or bronzer on my brush, and I just go in the crease of my eyelid. Comment down below if your lips are chapped. Mine are really chapped right now. <laughs> that was random, but mine are really chapped. And that's that's all the eyeshadow. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy to me. It is, I guess. Maybe not to you. Maybe you do that all the time. But I like that little trick. All right. I always use the eyelash curler, even though I have really long eyelashes. It still just helps. I just like to use it. So I just curl my eyelashes. If you never use a eyelash curler, you open it and then you put it on your eye and then you close it. And you hold it, I go, one, two, three. This might look crazy to some people. One, two, three, four, five. And it's all curled, see that? And then I do the other eye. See how like up they are? That's what it does, curls. All right, and then I use the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And here's a little something to say for guys. You don't always have to get super expensive products from like Sephora and stuff because there's stuff at the drugstores that have the same thing that work the same too. Like this could compare to a lot of expensive mascaras. Just a little hack. So you don't have to worry about going to Sephora. You can just go to Target or something like that. Okay, anyways. So, oh wow. So I just go like this and usually the technique I use is I go like this and then I blink, 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 and then I like shimmy it through my eyelashes. Like that. There's one eye. See the difference? See it. Okay. Then I do the other eye. The last and final thing is lips. So I just put it on. Matte colors do not help with chapped lips, but just. I'm just gonna do my nails. And that's the end. Alright, come take a look. It's my face. Alright, I want you guys to comment down below if you do any of the same stuff in your makeup routine or if you wanna use any of the same stuff in your makeup routine. Have a great day. Bye! Like and subscribe. Choo choo! Make sure you turn on your post notifications. <laughs> Click one of these videos to keep watching. We love you guys!